Hello, everyone. Welcome back to more fun in Railroader. I am the Angry Ragtimer here, and we're over at Whittier with our good old number two here on the Blue Ridge and Western Railroad. And uh, we just got a delivery of stuff on day one over at the interchange. We want to go see what it is. So it looks like, aha, we've gotten the bridge site cars that need to be delivered to start our expansion. And we do have a full car of coal. So what I think we're going to do here, if we're going to go over to number one, or number two, I'm sorry, our lovely, lovely locomotive. And uh, considering it's just been running back and forth for a while, uh, doing passenger stuff kind of off camera, let's give it some love and go back to uh, the interchange to pick up those cars, shall we? And I realized after... Uh, <laughs> We stopped recording. This looks almost ominously similar to, uh, if anyone has seen the Brave Engineer, the Walt Disney cartoon from, I think it's the 50s. It almost is like the same consist, other than the engine being a little different, but, uh, there's an inside joke with some of the friend group about, uh, about that specific thing, especially when they go, EGAD! Whenever, uh, things seem to happen, so we'll see what happens here with us as we back our train up and uh, while we back up we probably need to figure out what route we're going to take in because the Ella cars we're going to pull behind us the um, the car for coal we might as well also get uh, get figured out so yeah we'll just go drop no we'll back around hmm yeah we'll back up put this on the head end just shove that in um Oh man, could we cheese this? We could potentially cheese this. So, this locomotive is still over here. It's still at 70% getting fixed up. It has not moved a tick um, with getting fixed up. Uh, but if it's only at 70%, that means that we could probably get it to still work. Um, and I don't think our log cars up on the hill are full yet. They're getting there, but they're not there yet. And they only have 0 0.2 logs on it. Jesus. Okay. Oh, you know what? I was up there. I should have uh, checked to make sure that uh, can they actually be set for a destination now, or do we have to wait for the day change now that we've had an interchange? Let's see. Let's see. So Pound the Creek. Yeah, we have to wait for the day change. Okay. So, keep moving back here. A little, little, little uh, locomotive here. This is exciting, though. Brand new railroad, brand new start. The world is our oyster. And the good news is we have more money than the Suffering Southern. We currently have $3,946, which basically means we made a little bit of money by... Um, by running passengers, and then we basically immediately spend it all on our coal car. <laughs> so, let's go ahead, let's get into the yard here. We'll just slowly kind of coast here, put a small reduction on. Thankfully, our switches are already set. And uh, let's just continue to push back here. So the cars that got delivered are all the Ella Bridge sites. So we got none of the actual interchange location cars, which is interesting. Because that basically means that all the stuff that we ordered, which I thought would potentially cheese it so that way we'd get the oil car and sense of manufacturing and the sawmill and all that. Uh, actually do have to wait till the physical day. Just can't wait until the next interchange. So, darn. But, uh, good to know. Good to know that you can't quite cheese that portion of it. People on the passenger car are probably like, what the hell are we doing back here? 
or something to that effect. <laughs> so let's go ahead. We'll uh, stop just at the other end of this switch. And let's shove forward, get onto that coal car. We probably need to get a little bit more coal and water in here while we're uh, doing all of our lovely switching. But now that we have the coal and we have got an unlimited supply of water, that might also mean that we can uh, get number one here in active service early before it's uh, fixed up to 100%. We'll see. Because we also do have to, at some point, do the little bit of work on the other cars here that we definitely didn't bork in the first episode. Definitely didn't happen. Anyone who saw it is lying. But, uh, alright, let's just couple up nice and gently. Oh, like a glove. And, uh,. Let's show forward just a little bit here. We'll drop the passenger car, do the switching that we need to do. And we'll see if we can cheese to get number one going. Because if we can have one locomotive essentially de dedicated to freight and then one to passengers, like I think that's how they designed it, uh, then, you know, we got that going for us, which will be nice. Let's go ahead and put that five pound reduction on. And... And brakes on. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and move forward here. Because so I think the next thing we'll end up doing is coupling up to the front of this cut of cars here to get that going and then we'll get the pasture stuff going again as well. I definitely don't want to expand too quickly. I don't want to have us go into crippling debt. This is hopefully the we are wise about our money save as opposed to the we are having fun with our money save. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens with that as we go ahead and get number two moved up here. If we would only go just a little bit faster, people. You know, I know something, something about safe operations and got to do that. But sometimes people are impatient, especially at this early point in the game. So let's go ahead, put a 13 pound set. Switch is lined. All right, go backwards. But this is good to know that you could cheese to uh, get the interchanges faster to get your coal going. So we'll see how that all fares. Alrighty. Little far on that stop there, Buckaroo. Had to find the engineer something. <laughs> yeah. All right. Come on there. Nice and gentle. We got places to be, damn it. Try the handbrake down. And let's go ahead and dump the car. So it has no brakes. And now we're going to test our theory. So let's go ahead and couple up to number one. And uh, we'll see what happens if we drag it forward. It looks like 
it is getting worked on. The visuals, I think, look a little bit better. Maybe I'm just seeing things. I don't know. But the condition's not upgrading offhand. All right, come on. Let me in. Okay. Glad hands on. Handbrake off. Let's go ahead and pull this puppy forward. Let's see if we can go cold and water it. You know, I'm not usually a fan of the Powell 3, but for this case, we'll, we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. But like a much more melodious whistle than uh, something that's a little bit jarring like the Powell, but we'll see here. Oh, like a glove. All right, go ahead and fill up on water, please. All right, so we'll go ahead and get that filling. And that's dropping coal down. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and get that started. I forget how much water needs to go into this tender. Let's uh, let's check the tapes here. So I think the 10 wheeler, 3,400 gallons of water and three tons of coal. So hopefully it shouldn't take too long for us here. But certainly faster is going to be better. And yeah, that locomotive still looks really rough. <laughs> they uh, they have not touched it yet. The rocket is not rocketing along anytime soon. Unless we get it to work, which maybe we will push in the service for a little bit. So, continue to get some water in it. And hopefully that will fill up faster sooner than slower. We do have a pretty decent spot for it, though. So that's good. Um, so what was it, 3,400? Yep, perfect. Let's go ahead and move forward. Don't have to go far. Just enough for the coal loader to start doing its thing. And let's see, will we have fire? Or is this locomotive still cheesing? Aha! We have a locomotive that can run. Fantastic. I love when we can break the game early. All right, so we'll have that continue to fuel. Um, we'll put number one on on duty with the passenger train. We'll have number two take care of that. So we'll allow it to keep moving forward and expanding this railroad faster rather than slower. But what makes sense for us is to, once we uh, get the passenger stuff rolling, kind of just get it going. Uh, maybe then we'll stick number two in to get fixed up just the hair since it only needs just a little bit. Let's go ahead, unconnect. So we'll send that back, get it hooked up to our passenger train. We'll get number two set up with servicing and back it onto our Ella train. And here it comes, number one. Back in action, earlier than expected. Good job, Rocket, we're so proud of you. You did the thing. <laughs> Alright, 
Easy, easy does it. Maybe a little faster. Give it a little bit of beans. Alrighty. So we're going to let that sit there for a moment. It'll think about what it's done. And meanwhile, let's go ahead and get some more coal and water into this puppy. Not that we've used a whole lot of it, but just to top it off since we have the ability. We might as well. Did I stop it just a hair early? Yeah, kind of. So we'll get that going. Um, yeah. We'll go ahead and get number one rolling as soon as uh, we can. We're going to have it just since we've got a second. Make sure the fuses are out. And we're going to have it go on track two. And we'll have it stop over here, which will then allow the freight to take the main and just head on through. And then it'll go to Ella like we want it to. Perfect. This is a master plan with no possible failure points. No possible failure points. How much coal does this one take? Because um, this is the small mogul. I guess six, yeah, six tons of coal, 4,000 gallons of water. So, got about another ton to go, which I'm kind of surprised the coal conveyor is keeping up, but a small locomotive, it's not a Burke. I guess it's doing just exactly what we want it to. And, like magic, let's go ahead, back up, top off on water. Alrighty. So, Here's my question for all of you who are watching. What should be our first step? Obviously, we're going to get to Bryson, but should we go ahead and expand the route to Silva, or should we focus on getting it to Alarca? Um, we'll have a little vote down in the uh, comments section here, so let me know what you'd like to see uh, as we expand this railroad. Last time on the Suffern Southern, we went just straight to Silva, which definitely uh, added a lot more complexity with uh, the pulpwood trains and other things, but chaos seems to reign supreme wherever the hell I run. So certainly if you guys want to see that, uh, we'll, we'll try to make it happen here. But in the meanwhile, it looks like we are pretty much full on water. Let's go ahead and back down to our freight train. We'll send the passenger out first, then the freight will go just kind of blowing through here. And do we still, I'm going to tell us to stop at Whittier again, just because. I feel like there should be a lot more going on, but, you know, there isn't. Our railroad is just in the baby stages, the infancy of it, if you will. So let's go ahead and get this all connected here. Back up just to clear the switch. So they do have wheel slip animated. Interesting. All right, number one, your maiden voyage.
Oh. Well then. Let's try this again. Off she goes. So now that we have sent the trains off and running, let's make sure it is at where I want it to be. more pastures? Yes, it does. Picking up a few more passengers, theoretically, and we'll have the passenger train hold here for the freight to come through whenever it decides to get here. That's your cue number two. Number two! Scooby Doo, where are you? Where are you? Oh, there it is. All right. Let's be all cinematic and shit. Let's uh, have a nice little uh, little watch of the run by as we get here at Whittier. It's like train ASMR. Now, number one, you can follow. Let's uh, catch up with number two here now that we got both running. And the switch is lined for our movement. Because we're going to have to go to Ella and then run around to shove these cars into where they need to go.
this is going to be interesting. I left that fusee down at uh at Whittier, right? No, I took it out. Um, let's put it there. Let's put it. Mm, yeah, like there. That way, I'll have a good stopping point for the passenger train. Meanwhile, we're basically now playing uh, catch 'em up. So, number one is here. Number two is just ahead. They are not running uh, ten minutes apart on this railroad. We run how we run, damn it! And that is quickly. So we'll continue on. Thankfully, we got a good view at the end of our train. And we've got a little bit of distance on number one. But we're also going to soon be coming up to the dreaded 30 mile an hour curve. Which isn't too bad, but still, would hate to just blow through and immediately derail half the train. Okay. Speaking of rigs. It's not like that. But, oh well. We made it through. And nothing derailed. All of our cars at 100%? Looks like it. As it should be. The only thing that might have gotten squeaky was the uh, engine 95. Nope, still everything's still good. It just made some fun noise. But. Let's go ahead and start slowing down for the station. Granted, we don't have to stop. We just need to keep going through until we reach our runaround track. But let's make sure that we can actually do that here. The things are lined, so we'll be good to go. Number two is loaded in. We have come to a stop with number two. It's now time to run around these puppies and shove them into place. So hopefully that'll be a smooth operation here. That'll get going. Let's check up on the pastor train. How you doing, pastor train? Still unloading people. 
That's good. But you need to load up the people to go back. Because you are going to make me money. Wait, does that only hold three tons, or is that... Yeah, okay, good. I got confused. I thought this had like six, five, four or five tons, and I was like, God, that went through a whole lot of stuff. But, uh... No, we're good. And we've loaded up on all of our passengers, so let's get you the hell out of Dodge. Come on, you stinking doogaloo. Alrighty. Now the question becomes, do we um, keep number two set down here? Or do we, after uh, we drop it off, do we just... Send it back to the sheds for cold water and a rest. Because there won't be any freight in-game until tomorrow. And it's still day one. Uh, almost 1 p.m. So we got plenty of time. And I don't think these cars will be ready quite yet for... Uh, what we may or may not be doing. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and move this train. While that train's in motion, let's catch up with number run real quick. Because I just want to make sure that it then has set for pickup passengers at Whittier. For Ella. And now we're back. Come on, number two. You can do it. I believe in you. I'll make sure to throw the switch. Don't want any derailments or accidents. Because we never have those here. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever. Okay. Let's go ahead and shove these to the end of track. Thankfully, it's not too far of a distance. What's our current money like? Uh, almost up to 4,000 again. So, it would be really interesting if we could get back up to 5 by day 2. But I don't know if that's going to happen given our current setup here. And there's not enough passenger traffic to justify or warrant getting another coach at this point. Or an observation car or whatever. Um, and it's too early, I think, to get a diesel, which would save us quite a bit on um, on our passenger costs. But right now, with our two stations and our little yard and our logging route, I think we'll be fine. So we'll go ahead, slow her down, bring her in. Put a 10 pound set on. Hopefully that's enough to stop it. Oh, that was clutch. That was clutch. 
I love that. I love everything about that. We had room to spare. All right. Go ahead, start building me a bridge. So now that we've done that, looks like number one is back at Whittier. So let's go ahead. Let's just set you to run back. I'm going to have you avoid the fusee. Nope, the fusee's going to be hit either way. So. Okay. Let's see. number one rolling here, but we're going to have it stop at that switch. Alrighty. So number two is off. Number one is down here. thing. Hey, 11 passwords at a time. It's a way to start. And of course, we just generated three more. Of course we did. So, what I think we're going to do is once number two gets down here, we'll go ahead and put that one in the shed for right now, just to clean up the few percentage points that it needs to get fixed up. And we'll go ahead and have it set to go pretty much where it needs to go. So right there. And you are going to go to like right there. Yeah. All right. And I know what some of you may be screaming through the monitor, but number one, number one needs to be fixed up. Yes. Yes, it does. But anyone who's watched my videos before know that I am a person who likes his locomotives to be in tip top performance. And to be frank, the coach needs some love. This whole thing needs some love. But if we could go ahead and fix up number two, get that basically 100 percented and then we can go ahead and uh, take care of number one here to get fixed up. So that'll be exciting here. And, uh, you know, while we're waiting, because it's going to be a hot minute, let's take a look at that other train. Up on the mountain. So this one, three logs. 1.9 logs. 0.2 logs. 0.2 logs. Do they now load one at a time with the cars? Because right now, if we look at Conley Creek, track two, it's producing 12 logs cars a day. We're at 0%, so we're literally just sucking this thing dry. Looks like L1 has 6, and Jarek L3 has 6 logs. Basically, it's 2 cars worth. So because we got these here early, they're just going to go ahead and fill up and do their thing. And we don't have a way to uh, bring them down yet, so I guess that means we'll just have to wait for our other train down here at, uh, at Whittier. And it should be getting here any minute now. Any minute now. There it is. OK. 
Okay. And off it goes. Let's get number one rolling. It's rolling. Now the question is, do we just keep running the passenger stuff all day? Because it's going to be 20 people at a time, 15 to 20 people at a time max. But if we don't then we miss out on the potential passenger revenue which it might be to our benefit to do that so we'll see here meanwhile number two keeps rolling keep your doing your thing Just go ahead and roll her slowly back in so that way she can get it fixed up at the shops. It's gone through about a thousand gallons of coal or a thousand gallons of water. Yeah, a thousand gallons of pulverized coal now in liquid form. All carbon all the time. Stop under the hood. And let's go a little further. It won't change anything, but it'll be fun to look at. Alrighty. So that's now getting fixed, theoretically. And what we may do is maybe after this passenger train comes back from uh, from Ella. Maybe we'll just send it back so we can go to advance to the next day. Because now that we see we have two working locomotives, we can have number two do all the freight stuff, and we'll have number one handle the passenger stuff. So let's see where it is. Oh, there's my character model. So where is number one? Looks like it's getting pretty damn close to Ella if it's not already there. And there it is. You need a different whistle. Rocket needs a different whistle. Let's see. So passenger engines are asked to have something fun. But nothing too over the top because it's just a... Let's see. Oh. I just changed the whistle on the wrong locomotive. No. No, I changed it on the right one. I just am an idiot. No. No. Let's see. Hmm. No. Let's 
That's one hell of a whistle, but not what I want. There we go. Eerie five chime. Why not? Okay, you're loaded. Let's go have you go back. You know what? You're mine now. Let's go. Number one. It's a little drafty in here. Let's, uh... Okay, yeah, let's get that open. Good. All right. Ella will be back tomorrow. Generate lots of passers for me. Now the question is, do we still look at another coach at some point? We don't need it yet. Let's see, new coaches are 4450. We only have four thousand dollars and four thousand and three dollars, so the answer is gonna be no, and if we got a lightweight or a palace car, that's gonna be even more. So It would be nice to have a charter uh, coach, though, or charter caboose. So maybe we'll go ahead and sell. Is how much is a charter caboose? Four thousand. Four thousand. So yeah, basically a caboose is five thousand dollars. But if we sell this one, since it's in brand new condition. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and set that up to sell. Because then we can go ahead and get a charter caboose. That way we can have passenger trains that are more or less a charter uh, tourist service, if you will. And that'll also give us a little bump in cash that we can then also get a few more people without maybe going for a full coach. But um, we'll see here. So, with that, let's just keep on backing up. And we'll eventually get back to, uh, to Whittier here. Alrighty. That caboose definitely wheeled a bit uh, over that set of points, but it's probably fine. It's fine. Yeah, there's no problem with it. Got a five pound set on to start slowing us down.
1K. All right, we'll let all the pastors off. And once they are, we'll proceed back to East Whittier. Did I stop at the right place? Yeah, I did. They're just slow to go. I guess the conductor has to get the step box for them. And we're going to end the day with just over $4,000. Our freight cars are set up by the Ella Bridge site. We got the log cars up on the hill. And we'll go ahead and take care of all this fun stuff. And let's just make sure we're aligned so we can sell that car. We'll probably kick it just for the sake of kicking. Make sure that that's good. Yeah, because that'll just kick straight back. Cool. Back to our train. And that's going to get fixed up too. Yes, it's only 1% damage, but... Damn it, I like having good looking trains. Good looking trains that are not borked to death. So. Probably need to slow down though. So we're going 40 miles an hour back here, and that caboose is a rockin'. You know what? 34 is fine. Speed to handle that at. Come on, let me up. Let me up. Go into the caboose. Let me in. Let me in. Let, let me in. Well. Off it goes. Well, I was trying to get on that caboose, but... Goodbye, caboose. Hope you find your dad. Alrighty. Let's go ahead. We'll bring ourselves into the repair tracks. Theoretically, we'll be good to go. Now, are those points set? Yes, they are. Hi, right, number two. Did you miss us? Okay, come on. Now, where is our coach? So our coach is here. That under the smoke jack. Nope, I missed it. Alrighty. So that is set. Handbrake on. That handbrake's on. 
And I think from here, we'll just go ahead and uh, call it for this episode. So we got both locomotives up and running. We delivered some more passengers, got the freight where we needed to go. And uh, we'll see you next time for more fun here in Railroader. Bye-bye.